Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, React and Chill. I'm Dika. So last time in This Is Us, um, we got a chance to see a little bit of Randall's, not Randall, William's backstory. Just the missing pieces, so, you know, where he was born and, you know, what had happened and the events that happened that led him to Pittsburgh and eventually become, being in the lives of the Pearsons and obviously bringing about the birth of Randall. So we saw that he was a talented writer, not just a poet, but a very good um, songwriter. And I think it was his cousin, um, was it Ricky? So his cousin, he was part of um, Ricky's band. And, you know, you could tell that he was like going places in the beginning. Um, his mother had gone over to Pittsburgh. It was just him and his mother. His father had died at war. So his mother had gone to Pittsburgh and she was ill. So that's why he had left Memphis to go be with her. There, of course, he had met... Randall's mother and I thought it might have been her that might have gotten him into the, the drug usage but there were just people in the neighborhood that were just taking drugs and obviously that had spiraled more once Ra um, William lost his mother he had spiraled more into that and therefore bringing us catching us up with the whole story as to his um, girlfriend slash wife at the time becoming pregnant him having Randall leaving at the fire station so forth so forth in present day, uh, Randall wanted to take a road trip with William to Memphis, and that's where he wanted to go. Even though the doctor had advised that, you know, it was lucky that he was still being able to move at this point stage of the cancer, he still wanted to go on the road trip, and Randall wanted to make that happen. William had ulterior motives. He knew that he didn't have a lot of time left, so he said goodbye to both granddaughters, and he had one in this road trip doing sort of he wanted his son randall to see certain things he got a chance to see where uh they scattered some of jack's ashes he got a chance to have that sort of nice one-on-one -on -one with jack and obviously going through this going down sort of certain memory lane with randall there's also a good opportunity for randall because he got a chance to meet another side of his family he never knew existed especially when uh, William had gone back to meet Ricky again and obviously after he had left he had never came back to Memphis up until that point he hadn't come back to the band and obviously there was there was that missed opportunity there of where him and the band could have gone if he had stayed so they were able to uh, make amends and played one last time and Randall obviously had that chance there to meet more parts of his family of course the next day um, is when unfortunately William's illness took a turn for the worse and the, it, the, his time was up and that's when Randall realized that William wasn't expecting to come back and even said I mean he got I I was <laughs> crying towards the end of that episode he even said that he wanted just as mirroring what happened between him and his mom when his mom was dying of an illness he wanted to be looking down at his granddaughters not for them to be not for him to be looking up at them so at least they got to he got to have that last moment with them and yeah, he'd given Randall the poems for my son. Was it songs for my son? The book that he'd meant to give Rebecca all that time ago when she'd first come to see him. And he was able to give that to him. Finally sort of encompassing that, you know, the two most important people to him were there at the beginning of his life. His mother, he was really close to his mother. And now at the end of his life, his son. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I'm getting partially emotional just thinking about it. So... Randall unfortunately not Randall keep saying what William had unfortunately passed and succumbed to his illness towards the end of that because there was he only had a couple of hours left and even the doctor said there is no way he's leaving this hospital um so yeah just as a, one piece of advice that William told Randall was you know blare the music loud put the window down you know live in the moment and, and obviously trying to get him to make sure he doesn't forget to live it's a stark contrast to what William to what randall's current day life and job is but it was like sort of last parting wisdom he could give for his son so here we are now with episode 17 what now mm. oh what a i don't know what to do but how do i own his legacy i thought so there it was Shows live or die based on what Brendan Novak writes about them, which is why I need him to come poking out of my play. But he can't you just explain what happened? No, I'm not. I can't, you know, tell them Randall's business has been through enough. You know what you should do? You should sit with my family at the play. Why don't you just sit with them? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. No, I am slinking in when the lights go down, successfully avoiding the entire prison claim. Mm -hmm. Especially Kate. I wonder. 
Well, again, I know how um, Kate was incredibly protective of Kevin, so I wonder if Sophie, the reason why she's avoiding Kate is something to do with prior to her and Kevin getting married in the first place, something along the marriage, or when they had broken up, so. So, it seems your grandpa left you some instructions of my all-time favorite smiles. That's why I'd like you two to plan my memorial. Oh. Adults, I'd like to give the eulogy. Hey, you would be so sad. How about we call it a toast? Well, I... <laughs> I love it. I need 50 rainbow balloons for a funeral. My niece has given me one job. Oh. Can I speak to your supervisor? Let me tell you what's I there. Okay. Hey, Dad. Kitchen, please. Oh. How could you be late today, of all days? Been here yet? No. Then I guess I'm not late. And please, please do not let Kevin and Sophie be by themselves in the basement. They're all over each other. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can tell he doesn't. They don't want to like make up. But I mean. <sighs> Jack and Rebecca just have that relationship and it's hard. I mean, I don't think Jack could stay angry at Rebecca. I think he's just angry at the situation. Oh. Love you, Mom. I love you more. I love you most. Oh. Be good to each other. Bye. Oh my god, the most awful. <laughs> Hi, Randall. Is this an alright time? Uh, I'm happy for the distraction. A young man named Sebastian insisted. I pass it on his condolences but William feigned an interest in football so the boy would have someone to relate to mm -hmm. Mr. Novak, sorry to uh, just you know, barge in like this <laughs> but I really need to talk to you I, I'm Kevin Pearson by the way I know who you are, oh good I think that you realize without the help of five takes on a laugh track you're nothing but a 40 year old playboy with no talent oof I hope you don't mind me asking. How's William doing? I haven't seen him lately yet. William died last week. Mm. In Memphis. Wow. He always wanted to get back there. On his morning walks. We got to talking. Really? Your father dies and this is what work sends you? They've been good to me, bro. <laughs> Are you and mom all right? Huh? Stop it. We're fine. You don't seem fine. Look, mom and dad, we're the, we're the last thing in the world you need to worry about. Mm. Well, don't you all look ready for a funeral? <laughs> <laughs> so, today we're going to act out William's perfect day, starting with breakfast. He loved breakfast. Please help yourselves. He knew he wasn't coming back. I didn't know. How could I have known? Mm. Yeah. I love them too, Randall. I never even got a chance to say goodbye. Is that he knew there was someone else who was much more deserving of this mic than me. Oh, he's gonna give it to Beth. He was endearing as hell. He's part of our fabric now. You know, ever since that camp just like broke me open. <laughs> All this stuff is coming up about Dad. I had a dream last night. My dad and William met. Oh. Just talking and laughing like old friends. The kid just threw it in reverse and zoomed straight back like a bat out of hell. But I've learned that you gotta let them out. Yeah. You gotta share them with the people that love you. Oh. Enough. I'm glad he told her to back off. So now we're gonna go on his walk. Come on, everyone, get your hats. All right. <laughs> Daddy, you were grandpa's real one. Oh. It's in her kindness to you from the start, and I think. Oh, I came from William. Got that from William. And I am so sorry you didn't have more time together. But it is my fault. I love him. And I know that he loves me. I 
got to stop by the office. Rand, thank God. He's going to quit. Tyler. Oh, he's going to quit. And on the day of his memorial, he sent me pears, <laughs> which I'm allergic to. And you know this. What? This no wonder Beth was a bit pissed off. Because he's... That is messed up. So like Beth was annoyed and I assumed it was to do with her feelings towards losing William and how she felt like she never got to say bye to him. But Randall's allergic to pears and they sent him pears. How do I honor my father's legacy? Living your life. Myself. Taking what I've learned from how he lived his life and having it shape the way I go on living mine. Um, I quit. I quit. Hold on. No hard feelings, man. I walk out of here and try and Oh, do you send her a postcard? <gasps> yeah! Goodbye, my dearest Beth. <laughs> the daughter I never had. Love, William. No, no, this is, this is Ron. Oh my uh, Ron God! Howard, this is, this is my number. Shit! This is the Ron Howard! I, okay, no. I, I just, I just had to tell you, man, you were phenomenal. Yes. Plus, you would be perfect. I would absolutely. I'd really like to send you this script. Oh my god! I'm the reason that he's dead. How? Is he gonna die in a car accident on his way to see Rebecca? Oh, <gasps> freak! I'm gonna fix things with your mom. I love you, Katie girl. Now, I don't think he ever makes it to. Rebecca. Hi, so that was episode 17. And my goodness, ugh, I tried not to cry, but unfortunately it had happened. So the episode kicks off with uh, the aftermath of William's death. Randall's back home. And Randall, no, William had, I wouldn't say left, you could say he had left certain parts of him. And as Randall discovers throughout the episode, there are certain parts of him that were left to kind of help uh randall and obviously the family moved forward one of the first things they found was a letter that he had left and he said that annie and tess his granddaughters were responsible for planning his memorial and obviously get to get the parents to help so they were now going to be in charge of the memorial and william not william sorry randall still wanted to make a toast a speech a eulogy or some sort of toast for his father so as that was being, um, as that was kicking off, one of the tasks that Annie and Tess had given um, Kate was to get the balloons. At this point, Toby could sense that she was slightly a bit on edge and he assumed it had something to do with obviously the things that she's hiding, things that she's kept buried regarding Jack. And she kept saying she was fine and obviously, as always, blocking him off. But as we know a couple of episodes ago he said that we need to be able to talk about these things if we're going to be committing our lives together we need to i want you to be in a place where you could tell me about what had happened so i think they're sort of at that point and i assumed as well obviously again it's another funeral for a father considering it's her brother's real father that the memorial's for would definitely be unearthing some old feelings um also on the other flip side we had Sophie and Kevin they they haven't become totally um intimate yet so they're sort of still moving in that sort of um moving in that direction and uh Kevin just annoyed as he's trying to and he would and he did go to plead with this Brandon Brandon Novick guy so a New York Times writer to try and get him to come to the play and obviously whatever if he talks about the play and mentions how good it was other people will come to see it so this was a big career changing moment for kevin and even considering what happened and again this was probably one of the most selfless things kevin has ever done he left the play to be with his brother and so if he suggested you could just tell him the truth he didn't want to drag randall into that and he needed to find a way to be able to convince him to turn up to the new opening night for the play um at the same time i did notice that so if he wanted her to sit with the family and then Sophie was like, no, I, d I don't, I don't think that would be a good idea. They don't even know that we're back together again. On top of that, she doesn't want to see Kate. So now, again, like I mentioned in the reaction, I'm not sure if something had happened between her and Kate at some point while Sophie was in Kevin's life. So going back to the sort of the memorial s service, there were, Randall was starting to realise that the short time William was in their lives, he had affected 
and you know he he in 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 essence affected and the way he used to maneuver a lot of people one thing when he got that phone call from jesse and he spoke about you know jesse said that me and william had our made our had our goodbyes before he went off to memphis but he, he told randall about a story about another young addict that was there at their meetings and how william went out of his way to know about football so he could include him goes to show how william was such an inclusive person somebody who was very inviting he would allow other people who did not want to say join in the conversation but make other people feel welcome and um that's reflected again when you have the postman come in um, to deliver the pears um, and he talks about you know I haven't seen William in a while hope he's okay and when Randall breaks the news to him he gets visibly emotional and Randall's really surprised that you know I didn't realize you guys were close he was like we used to go on our walks together he used to always ask me about my daughter I am so sorry and how he could see you know, I mean he could hear from Jesse's voice but he could literally see how uh, visibly distraught this postman was and talking about the pairs that he'd received and of course this come into play later I understand now why Beth was a little bit annoyed with the whole pair situation from his work so um, moving on to uh, the past um, Jack and Rebecca are still this tension between them regarding Rebecca going away on this tour with Ben her ex-boyfriend um, so he kind of i wouldn't say he did it on purpose but he was still looking to eventually get home make sure he sort of he didn't have the greatest sending off for her and even though there was still quite tension between them they couldn't help but kind of almost fall into old patterns when she was trying to tell him the instructions and she's left with the kids and how they shared that sort of joke about kevin between themselves but especially when he said goodbye to her it was still awkward because again and he missed his chance when kate had pointed out you should say bye to her he went outside she had they had already gone again this is reflected later on when he goes um to drop the kids off and kate has a word with him saying you guys okay you know cleveland where she was playing was only two hours away you should be there you should be there on an opening night and you know why weren't you there so again jack was trying to reassure kate not to worry um don't worry about your parents the, the, things happen between us it's not gonna it shouldn't affect you you should be worrying about other th important things going on in your life however when he was sitting at home and lonely like Kate told him not to do he decided to go to the after party for his colleague and I forgot to I didn't pick this up straight away in the reaction but Heather was there the secretary that was trying to flirt with him I know that Jack had given up drinking now would this be I don't know if he had had any <clears throat> other alcohol which I don't think he has and he when heather offered him a beer he actually said yes now i don't know how much alcohol they had after that point but he looked obviously he looked drunk and when after explaining the situation about his family to heather and she tried to make a move he sort of shut it down saying don't embarrass yourself and don't embarrass me and he'd left it there but now obviously from what we find out at the end the reveal about um his ascent well i'm putting two and two together about how he died but the reveal about kate feeling as if she's responsible for jack's death uh he was clearly drunk he he even called um the woman that was um uh looking after the triplets he even called to say let me speak to kate he was like you are right i'm gonna go see her i'm gonna make it right i'm gonna sort it out uh, and he was drunk so again i i don't drink but i don't know if one maybe he had just one i don't know the effects of what that alcohol would have done to him and clearly would have would have um essentially affected his driving on his way to cleveland so going back to the memorial when rebecca was on her way there she said to miguel that she still feels that it's not completely 100 percent right and she doesn't think it will ever be right between her and randall because the fact that Tess and Annie had invited them. But Miguel was trying to tell her that it was fine. It was no nothing like that. And at the actual memorial, the girls were making it fun. They wanted to have, you know, the sorts of different things that... Uh, do the sorts of different things that the grandpa, like William, did. So he enjoyed breakfast. Um, and then... Ooh, when it came to the toast or the speech, Randall got best to do it and then that was i mean that was the first place i went at you know the tears started flowing so um beth talked about how her experience was with uh, william she even mentioned that she was angry that 
he never said goodbye to her but she spoke about how he, he was such an endearing person and so he did leave such an impact on their lives all their lives and obviously Randall knows this the short time he had back with Jesse the postman things about William how he had the effect to be able to leave such an impact in such a short space of time this obviously moved um Kate who at this point even when Toby was trying to find out she needs to talk about it, she said I want my space and then she later can find it in Randall and uh, you know she mentioned and I even mentioned it what had the experience she had at the camp she mentioned that it kind of unearthed the therapy and everything that had happened and Randall was trying to tell her that sometimes you need to just let people know how you feel you can't bottle your feelings up it's this is a, a amazing reflection on how um he was the two episodes prior where he literally just encompassed and kept everything in and he even mentioned that you need to be able to be telling Toby this you need to be able to open up and express how you feel so she did definitely um when they went out for their walk she did say to Toby Toby we are going to talk about it after the play we're gonna I will talk to you about this stuff with my dad during that time um I feel like Rebecca finally got the opportunity to fully apologize and try to explain from her side obviously we've seen the reason reasons for Rebecca and what she did and how she did it and why she did it Rebecca finally was able to tell Randall tell him exactly her reasons why why she felt that was the case and obviously Randall at this point looked like he'd forgiven her I, I figured that at that point she'd always feel guilty that especially how everyone felt and then when 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 uh, Beth spoke about William that part of her thinks she cut that time short he could have had much longer time with William even if William was eventually going to get sick she could have given him 10 15 years worth plus 15 years time with William instead of though well, I think they've been together for less than a year that he got but he told her that don't worry you know it was more than enough I know he loved me and I loved him back and I felt like after they said that I love you I love you more I love you most and he was like no I'm grown and it's weird now <laughs> it was almost like it was a final seal to mend their relationship almost like the final plaster and it was a good point for them to move on like you know yes the reveal of William oh sorry the reveal of knowing that William was always in her life and she knew about him and that opening up that can of worms and it's finally closing now with William's death um, and uh, finally when Kevin went he knocked his play out the park everyone looked so happy and he did mention this to Sophie at the end when Brandon didn't turn up about it doesn't it doesn't matter if he didn't turn up because I looked at and I saw all the most important people his family Sophie they were all there and it doesn't matter if he didn't turn up and also at this point they did t t take their relationship further by sleeping with one another and again it always just goes to show you don't know who's watching because he got that call from Ron Howard so not just a writer in the New York Times but an actual director he said I'm working on my next film I would love to send you the script I would love to you I would love for you to be in it which was crazy because that's probably the last thing he expected that somebody a director or somebody would be watching his play and got to appreciate his performance um, and finally Randall went and quit his job so yes when we f I found out when we found out at the end that Randall he just turned up and yeah even Beth said that you know what at the end of the day my father he's like, I gave you 10 years my father died basically and the only thing that you sent me were pears that I'm allergic to which I was shocked like I said the disrespect and he basically said you know I'm gonna follow my father's words I'm gonna quit he you know he's gonna take life easy he's gonna be able to enjoy life more just as in the short amount of time that William was alive he was able to f f in that short time live his life to the fullest by leaving being such such having such an effect on his grandkids having such an effect on Beth and um, Randall's obviously been witness to this he's seen the impact Williams had had on all their lives so he decided to quit his job and he even said maybe I'm gonna stop running in the morning and actually go for a walk you know talk to the mailman similar things that William was doing to kind of rep reflect that you need to be able to slow down and enjoy things before you run out of time and you don't get an opportunity to enjoy them anymore and finally finally when they were packing up to go back or I think they were packing up for um, to head back to LA, uh, Kate had revealed that she feels that she's responsible, or she, not 
she feels she's responsible, sorry, Kate revealed that it's her fault that Jack had died. Now, again, I could only assume that because he was under the influence and he was drunk, that after that conversation, he went off to Cleveland and got into a car accident. I'm not even sure if he even made it to see Rebecca or he died in between, I'm not sure. But that's from what they're trying to um, imply has happened. Now, with one more episode left of this season, I'm wondering if we're gonna get more information about that next episode, of, you know, for the finale, the last episode. Um, and I'm really curious now as to see which confirmed what my suspicions when Kate had that sort of flashback with them standing at the grave like I said it looked it was there <laughs> in their teens so if that is the case we're gonna unfortunately see the beginning of the end or like where Jack had died so it'd be really sad if he didn't actually ever make it to Rebecca so they never actually made peace because they were still angry with one another but we'll see this is this is a good episode and again an amazing season so far we're on to the finale next time so i cannot wait and as always if you did like my video don't forget to like comment and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as always see you guys next time